Hi, my name's Ann Jordan, and I'm an FTD education consultant, and I'm here to share some tips about body flowers with you. The good news is there's such an array of wonderful things to use. I'll tell you, my number one tip for you is to make sure that you go where the girls are. Don't wait for them to come into the flower shop. Go where they are. Find out what's going on in the schools. Get yourself there, and you'll do great with prom this year. Here's a great tip for you. I suggest that you sell the bracelet first. I always talk about the bracelet, the tool, the ribbon, and the accents. I sell everything that I want to sell them first. So if you look at this, I've sold her the bracelet, two kinds of ribbon, and I want to tell you why I like tools so much, is because glue sticks to it so wonderfully, and it takes away from uh, the opportunity to use maybe too much filler or foliage. You don't need it in this. I find that florists mention filler and foliage, the customers don't ask for it. Then we're going to mention some accents. Here I'm using this wonderful feather that also has the rhinestones already in it. Again, something that's going to be fast for us. A tip about feathers. If you use an anti-transparent on your flowers, which we should, something like Crown and Glory or Pristine, you don't want to spray it on the feathers or satin ribbon. So you can spray it on the flowers first, let it set, and then you can glue them in. Here's another great tip. It's going to keep you fast. I like to use these Gerber trays. We throw these out all the time, don't we? And what I do is I put the bracelet down through it, set it on a base like this. That way, if this jewelry that they're purchasing is part of their keepsake gift, it's going to keep it nice and clean. Also, I can do six or seven at a time. So if you can get this much done, can you imagine how fast the day before prom is going to be when all you have to do is glue the flowers in? Here's the number one tip above all for you about prom flowers is to grab this generation. We want to make sure these wonderful millennials who already love flowers anyway become flower consumers. It's our job to make sure when they come into the flower shop that they're having a wonderful experience. I'd like to thank you for joining me today and for more information on floral business and design tips, visit ftdi.com.